Hey guys, hey, it's Ruckus here. Do you guys want to buy some hacks? Do you want maybe 20,000 gold? How about infinite credits? I can give you all this. Look at my garage, look at all the gold. Look at the credits. You know I got this through hacks. Maybe you want a tank with the best stats possible. Look at this thing. This is the Turbo Tog. It's tier 3. Nothing kicks ass like the Turbo Tog. It's got a 6,000 horsepower engine. 65k per hour top speed. I can give you all this. Just send 49.95 to my account and follow the link included in the description. Genuine hacks. Just for you guys. I'm not a contributor anymore, so I can give you all Wargaming secrets. You've just got to trust me. Send the money. Don't tell me you guys don't want this bad boy. Nothing kicks tier 3 ass like the Turbo Tog. Take this, Kenny. Target locked. Turbo Tog rolls on. Um, having uh, some minor graphical issues here, but it's a genuine hacks, guys, I swear. Uh, just trust me, send me the money, and this bad boy can all be yours. Uh, to prove how tough it is down here at tier 3, I will now ram to death this poor Panzer 2G. 70 ton machine with a 65k per hour top speed. Ah. Well, that was kind of disappointing. So, maybe I haven't been 100% honest with you guys in this one. What is with this strange episode, and why am I showing you this strange replay? Well, the purpose of the episode is to do with an issue I'm having on the channel at the moment. I have an influx of these assholes popping up in the comment section and trying to convince people to follow their link to Genuine Hacks for World of Tanks Blitz. As far as I know, there are no hacks for this game. Uh, it's the same on PC. There's definitely no gold hacks. There's definitely no credit hacks. There's ways you can rot the system, for sure. And there does seem to be the occasional uh, gameplay advantage you can do with our mods. This is on PC. But for Blitz, as far as I know, there are no hacks. No one is gonna give you free gold. No one is going to give you free credits. If you pay money to these people or you follow their link, you are in for a bad time. I don't know whether this is one guy starting up several accounts uh, and doing multiple postings on my channel or if he's somehow convincing friends or other people to come on here and post these links. But regardless, anyone posting this link on my channel is banned immediately. <laughs> no second chances. It's uh, done. I'm only getting a couple of days, so I can pretty much keep on top of it. Um, if you do see one that slipped through the net, just um, comment on it and let me know, and I will remove them as soon as I can. And that's about it. That's about the sole purpose of this episode. I just want to bring that to people's attention that is happening, and that you should never follow links for game cheats within World of Tanks. But that still leaves the question of what is the Turbo Tog? Well, this machine is simply a BTSV with the TOG skin swapped in. Uh, there is no advantage to playing this machine. It has all the same stats as the BTSV, including the hitbox. It's just the outward appearance to myself that looks like a TOG. It, to everyone else, they just see a BTSV. But it was quite fun to play and hilarious to see the TOG tooling around and leaping over cliffs and <laughs> hammering along at 65 k's an hour. <laughs> The turret does that strange pivot in the center because, well, I assume the game is still telling the turret uh, hitbox to pivot at the BTSV's pivot point, which is somewhere within the TOG's body there. Uh, so that's why it looks so strange. That's it. That's all I've got time for, guys. That was just a quick uh, public service announcement regarding uh, scammers on YouTube, the bottom feeders of the YouTube community. Hopefully none of you guys have followed those links or fallen for similar scams. And that's it for me. I will catch you in the next gameplay episode. Peace.